Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth peace and hope to all people. Heavenly Father, may your name be glorified, may your kingdom be established. Holy, holy, holy are you, loving God. Heaven and earth are full of your great glory. Glory to you, O God. Hear this, O Israel. Our God is sovereign and singular. We shall love our God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Our God alone shall we serve. Hear this, O Israel. We shall love our neighbors as ourselves. On these two great commandments hang all the law and the prophets. O God, who shall dwell in your house, who shall rest upon your holy mountain? In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Lord, who shall dwell in your house, who shall rest on your holy mountain? Those who walk without spot, acting in righteousness, those who speak truth in their heart, and place no deceit on their tongue. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Those who do no evil to their neighbor, and accept no bribes against the innocent, those who reject the evil ones as worthless, but honor those who fear the Lord. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Those who are faithful and just to their companions, and do not lend their money for gain, those who accept no bribe against the innocent, those who do these things are just, and nothing shall ever disturb them. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. O God, who shall dwell in your house, who shall rest upon your holy mountain. How beautiful and glorious is your house, O God. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, teach us your ways, justice, and peace. Help us to show mercy to one another. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We remember that when we gather, we do so with the whole church. Heaven and earth are joined in prayer. In peace, let us pray to God. We praise you and we thank you, O Lord, our God and Savior, giver of life. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time and with one accord to make our prayer to you. And you have promised that when two or three gather together in your name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O God, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come everlasting life. For you are a good God and love humanity, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lift up your voices and give glory to our God, the Eternal Shepherd. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. 
and he said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing in vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers. Kings shall see and stand up, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves, because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. This is the word of the Lord. Reading from the first letter of Paul to the church in Corinth. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and our brother Sosthenes, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, together with all those who in every place call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you, because of the grace of God that has given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end, so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, By him you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. John saw Jesus coming towards him and declared, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but I came baptizing with water for this reason, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I myself have seen and have testified to this, this is the Son of God. The next day John was again standing with two of the disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher. Where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him for that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated anointed. He brought Simon to Jesus who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hear in all the readings today, foundations of the salvation of Israel. And the spreading of that, even back in the very beginning, beyond the nation of Israel to the entire world. And this is because, I think, 
back in the day, we understood things very tribally. You know, this is my group. This is a place where I belong. These are my people, and it's us against the world. And God is trying to tell us, not the whole world. It's not just you. I will make you a light for the nation so that everybody can understand. God is not going, I'm only going to save this little group over here. They're mine. Everybody else can go to hell. That's not what God tells us. That's not what Jesus tells us. That's a very human thing. I only care about my tribe. I only care about my group. I only care about my family. You have to care about more. And Jesus does. Jesus very clearly tells us that on, on more than one occasion. And things get changed over. John comes and he's baptizing. The people are all, all into John the Baptist. He's, he's just really cool and they're following and they're changing and they're renewing their lives. And along comes Jesus and kind of goes, this is the guy we've been waiting for. This guy right over here. He's the one we've been waiting for. He is the anointed. Peter, which is rock, Cephas, which is rock, uh, upon which Jesus builds his church, comes to follow him. Had been one of John's followers, comes over to follow Jesus. There is an extension there from Isaiah telling the people the things they didn't want to hear, to John telling the people things they didn't want to hear, to Jesus telling people things they just don't get. To the church in Corinth, maybe getting it. To us, maybe getting it. God wants salvation for all creation. It's an old Orthodox teaching that Jesus, God, would take the devil back today if the devil repented and said, take me back. That's the kind of forgiveness God has for all of us. And let's face it, we all need forgiveness. There is not one of us out here who is without sin. There's not one of us out here who's perfect. But God will take us back. We have to repent. We have to be sorry for our sins. We have to get, yeah, yeah I'm, you know, I shouldn't go around doing that. But God can get, okay. Wash off. Clean yourself up. As one of my friends used to say, you know, when you fall down, you get dirty. You get up, you wash yourself off, you dust yourself off, and you try again. And that's what God wants of us. Perfection would be nice. It'd be great to wake up in the morning and be a perfect human being. It's not going to happen. We're each going to continue to have our foibles, and we'll have some new ones sneak up on us, I'm sure. But day by day, listening to the Word of God, listening to the movement of the Spirit in our lives, we try to become more and more like God. Theosis. To become like God. More loving, more caring, more forgiving. Please, God, let it be so. Let us stand well in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high, for the salvation of our souls, for the well-being of all the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy synod of bishops, for myself, your unworthy servant, for the venerable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for peace throughout the world, for our civil authorities, and all in service to our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, and for every city and countryside, and for those living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
for those who travel by sea, air, land, and in space, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for the safety and salvation of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God, to you, O Lord. Together, let us entrust our souls to God. We ask you, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that your grace be with us, forgive our sins, and protect us. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O God, that we may please you by our good works all the days of our lives. By the help of your grace, may we always be worthy and eager to offer you glory, honor, and thanksgiving, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, ever one God, now and through all ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor the Lord our God with our substance and with the first fruits of our labor that our barns may be filled with plenty and our presses overflow with wine. Do not neglect widows and orphans, strangers, prisoners, and the homeless. Remember the sick and the suffering. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, O God of all, for you have given us this living bread. Fruit of the earth and work of our hands, let it become life-giving bread. Bless the lives of those who offer it and those for whom you pray. Amen. The fervor of faith, full of the Holy Spirit, water is mixed with wine, wine with the water. So let these two become one in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you. O Lord our God, for you have given us this wine, fruit of the vine and work of our hands, let it become our spiritual drink, the very mystery of the blood which flowed from the side of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. O God, Holy, Mighty One, who accept the sacrifice of praise from your people, accept the prayers we are about to offer for our sake and for all of creation. Grant us the grace to be a living sacrifice acceptable to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, now and forever. Amen. The noble Joseph took down your most pure body from the cross, wrapped it in a clean shroud, and with fragrant spices laid it in the tomb. Look upon us with favor, O God, that the walls of a new and everlasting Jerusalem may be built up, where there will be justice and peace, the lamb and the lion will lie down together. May the Lord wash away our sins with the hyssop of his love. May God cleanse us and heal us in the great ocean of his mercy and love. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us now confess our sins and failings with clear minds and hearts and a humble spirit. With eyes downward and hands and hearts raised, let us ask God's mercy and let us forgive one another. Forgive us, O God. Let us rid ourselves of strife and division, hatred and hostility. Forgive us, O God. Let us receive the sacrament and be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Forgive us, O God. Let this Holy Communion be for our resurrection and eternal salvation and for the reconciliation of all creation and for everlasting life. May the living God forgive all of our sins and make us worthy to celebrate these holy mysteries so that we may stand as we do now before our God on that last day. May the grace, the love, and the fellowship of the living God be with us now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is among us. He is and ever shall be. The peace of the Lord be with you always and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is always and everywhere right to give God praise. Lord our God, what we have heard, yes, what our mothers and fathers have told us is true, and we will join with them to proclaim your glorious deeds. What our mothers and fathers declare to us, we too will declare. Through time, you opened the doors of heaven to rain manna upon your human children, food for the journey. We will declare the glorious deeds of the Lord. Not just once in the desert, when your people groaned that they had left behind the riches of Egypt. We will declare to the generations the wonders of the Lord. Not just when the new church struggled without the physical presence of Jesus, nor again when the persecutions made martyrs and confessors of your sons and daughters. We pledge ourselves to live the full life of discipleship. But each time to your people you provided nourishment, manna fallen from the sky, the spirit thundering into the upper room, the witness of Paul, a prisoner in Christ, and Jesus, your own, your beloved and our beloved. So therefore, with all the cloud of witnesses, our faithful ancestors, with the angels and saints, and this company, we raise our song of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Father, the people of Jesus' time asked him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? It is our question as well. We have heard the answer, Father. We must come to Jesus Christ in order to never be hungry and believe in him to never thirst. Jesus is with us today in the assembly of this household of faith. We call ourselves Christians. We have taken that name to ourselves in faithfulness and in hope. God brought us to this holy place. We do today what he had commanded. He said on the night before he died, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given up for you. At the end of the meal, he took the cup, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, drink. This is the cup of my blood given for you. He gave us bread from heaven to eat. It is your church's desire, Father, to become, in fact, the body of Christ. Not just the body, but to grow to the full stature of Christ. So we beg you, Father, to make us strong, loving, and wise. Gift us with humility, gentleness, and patience. Father, send your Spirit upon us, one and all, now and evermore, to make us and these gifts of bread and wine which will nourish us into the body and blood of your own Jesus, our Savior. Inspire all of our leaders, 
especially myself, your unworthy servant, and all who serve this community. Christ is the bread of our life. Strengthen the bones, tissues, and spirits of all the members of this household, that all may rightfully claim the inheritance promised and gained by Christ's death and resurrection. Whoever eats and drinks at this table will never be hungry. We remember those who are infirm, those who are unable to be with us for whatever reason. We pray for those whose faith is moving towards maturity. Knit all of us together, Father. Make of us one in the unity of spirit and the bond of peace. Whoever believes will never be thirsty. We give you our lives, for we want to be like the first apostles, to be prisoners in Christ. It is through him, Father, that we give these gifts. Amen, 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 Amen. The bread we break, is it not fellowship in the body of Christ? The cup we share, is it not fellowship in the blood of Christ? The table is furnished, the wine is poured. Let us flee from ignorance, and let us proclaim this unique and powerful mystery. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of Jesse, the Son of David, has prevailed. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Here are God's gifts for God's people. Remember that Christ has died for us. Feed on him faithfully. Partake of this heavenly food and drink with hearts full of thanks and praise. O Christ, we are unworthy of your calling, yet in faith we share this sacred banquet. Help us always to walk in your way. Broken and distributed is the Lamb of God. Broken, but not divided. Ever eaten, but never consumed. But sanctifying those who partake of this heavenly food. I believe, O Lord, and I confess, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss, as did Judas. But like the thief will I confess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of these holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for the judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. I believe, O Lord, and I confess, that this is truly your most precious body, and this is truly your life-giving blood. Make me worthy to share these holy mysteries for the remission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Thanks to the Lord, 
and never forget all his blessing. The love of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear. It is he who forgives all your kings, who heals every one of your kings, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. The love of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in peace. As the heavens are high above the so strong is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. The love of the Lord is everlasting. Upon those who hold him in peace. Save your people, O oh God. Bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light, we received the heavenly spirit, we have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided trinity, for the trinity has saved us. God has filled us with spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, and has called us to share his kingdom without beginning or end. We have feasted on God's word in this holy banquet, made bold, let us make known our prayers and petitions. For justice and peace for the sick and the suffering, for refugees and exiles, for the poor and the homeless, for prisoners and the lonely, for our families and friends, for ourselves, and for all of those prayers held deeply in our hearts and known to God alone. All these prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives now and forever. For you are our sanctification, O God, and we glorify you now and ever and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. In this time of turmoil throughout the world, let us continue to pray for peace. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, through the prayers of his most holy mother, and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, and of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of St. Thomas, apostle to India, and all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is gracious and full of love for us. May this worship bear fruit in our lives. May God be praised in our words and deeds. May we walk with God and be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to serve God in friend and foe, in neighbor and in stranger. In the name of the Lord, glory to you, O Christ our God, our hope. Glory to you. Thank mm -hmm. you.